taking a trip back into the bullet punk universe today. We're looking at two bullet punk pieces from two different sources and different artists. And uh, yeah, let's dive into it. We've got the Neo Carbine figure from Check Disc, and you'll notice that the common thing about this and the Tech 63 Otomo from Quix is that they both have that Akira inspired vibe going on. The Check Disc piece was from the Taipei Toy Festival this year, and this one, uh, made from Devil Toys of course, but it came from Strange Cat Toys. They had a, a two piece set that was up for grabs and I managed to grab it at the right time. And uh, sure enough, let's crack that one open first to take a look at it. I loved Akira when I was growing up. They had it on VHS at Family Video and I watched it over and over and over again. Like many people, it was my first gateway into anime and I just fell in love with it. So, although I always say I'm not trying to collect all the, the Tech 63s, when I saw that this was a thing that they were doing for Akira, those are variants I had to have. So here is this beautiful bullet punk piece. And you can see the logos on the jacket, which are supposed to be very similar to Kaneda's jacket in the movie Akira. Mecha will rise, progress, innovate, and advance on the back of the jacket. I hadn't had one of these figures before from Devil Toys, so uh, this is my first of this style, the Neo Carbine piece. And it's slick. It's going to look cool with the, the tech collection that I have going on. So there's that piece. And then the Tech 63, as I said, the Otomo from Martian Toys. So this is kind of a pickup from DesignerCon 2019. It's the same old box. But when I was at DesignerCon, I wasn't gonna line up the first day on preview night on Friday to grab this one. Let's go ahead and crack it open. But when I went back the next day, I said, you know, I stopped by the booth, I was pushing the little guy in the stroller, and I said, hey guys, you don't have any more of those, right? And they said, well, no, we don't, but we do have a list going because we don't have them here at the show. They flipped open their notebook. There's one more slot available. I guess you're lucky. I filled out the last slot on the sheet, and sure enough, they sent an email a little bit later with the invoice. I filled it out, and here we go. It's the Otomo Tech 63 from Quix. This is definitely among the variety that looks cooler in person, and the reason I say that is the, the paint that's taking place on the top and the skull really pops in person, and you can see it's painted on the backside as well, which is super cool. And all the extra logos that you can appreciate throughout the outfit. And this one actually has the pill on the back which is the signature kind of jacket right there. Funny enough, you can see his arm is popping off out of the socket because it does have those changeable arms on it. And supposedly some of these logos have some special meanings to folks over in Quick's homeland over there. So if you know what they are, please do give me some input there. So yeah, what I saw on the Bullet Punk Network fan page was the best way to remove the arms apparently is to pop off the head and then lift them over. So I'm kind of nervous to do that myself. Let's hold off for a second. But I did want to say I busted out some of my old Akira toys that I had from McFarland back from when I was a kid watching this show. They had them at Walgreens and uh, it was quite dusty. But there is Akira himself. I've got a couple more. If you guys are actually interested in this, please let me know and I'll be happy to crack them up or crack them out and show them on the channel. A lot of dust residue. But the cool thing about these McFarland toys was they were super detailed. So even though he's sitting there in his chair with the door number on it, you can see his throne here that he built. There's even details on the back of it. So yeah, I, I'm certainly a, a fan of that flick. So I'm glad to add these two modern renditions, uh, art stylings from the movie to my collection. Let's go ahead and give Check Disc's piece as well as the Quicks Tech 63 Otomo a spin. Thanks for watching.